you're new here, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Scenic Route Traveler. My name is Erin, and I have been traveling internationally for a decade and have now been to over 40 countries around the world. My aim as a traveler is to explore and discover the world's most beautiful places one scenic route at a time, and share with you one video at a time. Today, we're exploring the enchanted city of Aswan, Egypt. We're ready for a journey through ancient wonders, breathtaking landscapes, and unforgettable experiences. In this video, we'll uncover the must-see attractions and hidden gems that make Aswan a true treasure of Egypt. Nestled along the Nile River, Aswan is a city where history and natural beauty intertwine. Known for its laid-back atmosphere and stunning sunsets, it's been a strategic and cultural hub for a millennia. From ancient Egyptian times to present day, Aswan has captivated visitors with its unique charm. The city boasts a perfect blend of Egyptian, Nubian, and Islamic influences evident in its architecture, cuisine, and local traditions. With its year-round warm climate and fascinating archaeological sites, Aswan is a destination that promises both relaxation and adventure. Before we dive into the attractions, let's do a speed round of some essential information about Aswan that I think everyone should know before you go. Number one, the climate. Aswan is one of the hottest and driest inhabited places on earth. Summers are extremely hot with temperatures often exceeding 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter is definitely the best time to visit with pleasant daytime temperatures and cool nights. Number two, language. While Arabic is the official language, many locals in the tourism industry speak English. Learning a few Arabic phrases can go a long way in connecting with locals. Number three, the currency. The Egyptian pound is the local currency. While some places accept credit card, it's wise to carry cash, especially for smaller purchases and in local markets. Number four, the Nubian culture. Aswan is home to a significant Nubian population. Their unique culture, language, and traditions are an integral part of the city's identity. Number five, the Nile's importance. The Nile River is central to life in Aswan. It's not just a beautiful backdrop, but a vital resource for agriculture, transportation, and tourism. Number six, safety. Aswan is generally considered one of the safest cities in Egypt. However, as with any travel destination, it's important to stay aware of your surroundings and take standard precautions. Number seven, local cuisine. Don't miss trying local specialties like the Nile fish or fava beans, or Egyptian falafel, or even my favorite, koshery. Number eight, bargaining. In markets and with street vendors, bargaining is expected and part of the local culture. Start at about half the initial asking price and then negotiate from there. Number nine, the dress code. While Aswan is more relaxed than some parts of Egypt, it's respectful to dress modestly, especially when visiting religious sites. Number 10, UNESCO World Heritage. Many of Aswan's attractions, including the Nubian monuments from Abu Simbel to Philae, are UNESCO World Heritage sites highlighting their global cultural significance. Now let's dive into some of the top things to do in Aswan to consider for your trip or to inspire you to make the trip to Aswan. Number one, visit the Philae Temple Complex. This ancient wonder was relocated to Ajokia Island to save it from flooding years ago. You can take a short boat ride to reach the island and marvel at the well-preserved hieroglyphics and intricate carvings. The temple's beauty is enhanced by its location, surrounded by the most beautiful water of the Nile. And don't miss the sound and light show in the evening for a magical experience that brings the temple's history to life. Number two. Explore one of the Nubian villages. Immerse yourself in the vibrant Nubian culture by visiting a traditional village. Take a colorful feluga ride to reach the village where you can wander around narrow alleys, admire the distinct architecture and interact with friendly locals. The houses painted in these bright hues are a photographer's dream. And don't forget to try some of the authentic Nubian cuisine and shop for unique handcrafts, including intricately woven textiles and beaded jewelry. Number three, witness the unfinished obelisk. 
Head to the ancient quarries to see the unfinished obelisk, the largest known ancient obelisk. This massive stone offers insights into ancient Egyptian stoneworking techniques. At 42 meters long and weighing over a thousand tons, it's a testament to the ambitions of ancient builders. Learn about the obelisk's history and why it was abandoned, providing a fascinating glimpse into the engineering marvels of the past. Number four, cruise to Elephantine Island. Take a short boat trip to Elephantine Island, home to ancient ruins and colorful Nubian villages like Sio and Koti. Explore the Aswan Museum, visit the Temple of Kunum, and enjoy panoramic views of the Nile. This island, once a frontier of outpost of ancient Egypt, boasts a history spanning over 5,000 years. It's a perfect blend of history and natural beauty, offering insights into both ancient and modern Nubian life. Number five, relax at the Aswan Botanical Gardens. For a peaceful retreat, head to the Kitchener's Island, home to the lush Aswan Botanical Gardens. Stroll through exotic plants and trees from around the world and enjoy the serene atmosphere. Created by Lord Kitchener in the 1890s, the garden hosts an impressive collection of subtropical, exotic, and rare plants. It's the perfect spot for a picnic or simply to unwind after a day of sightseeing. Number six, experience a Feluca sunset sail. As the day winds down, treat yourself to a traditional Feluca ride on the Nile. These graceful sailboats have been on the Nile for thousands of years. Watch the sunset behind the desert hills, casting a golden glow over the river. This peaceful journey offers unforgettable views and a chance to reflect on Aswan's adventures while gently gliding along the historic waters. And number seven, a day trip to Abu Simbel. While not in Aswan itself, a day trip to the magnificent Abu Simbel temples is a must. These colossal rock temples built by Ramses II were relocated in the 1960s to save them from flooding caused by the creation of Lake Nasser. The main temple is dedicated to Ramses II and features four enormous statues of the pharaoh seated on his throne, each reaching a height of 20 meters. Inside, intricate wall carvings depict Ramses' victory at the Battle of Kadesh. The smaller temple, dedicated to Queen Nefertiti, is quite equally impressive. Twice a year, on February 22nd and October 22nd, the sun aligns perfectly to illuminate the inner sanctuary of the main temple a testament to the ancient Egyptians' astronomical knowledge. The sheer scale and beauty of these monuments combined with the feat of their relocation make the early morning journey well worth it. It's an awe-inspiring experience that will leave you marveling at the ingenuity and artistry of ancient Egypt. As we wrap up our tour of Aswan, it's clear why this city captivates so many visitors. From ancient wonders to natural beauty, vibrant culture to modern marvels, Aswan offers a unique Egyptian experience. Whether you're a history buff, nature lover, or cultural explorer, this enchanting city has something for everyone. And that's a wrap on my latest travel vlog. Check out my travel blog posts with more details in the description box below. You can find my other travel blog posts on my website, The Scenic Rod Traveler. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel videos. Thanks for watching and happy travels.